What is up, everybody? My name is Brandon. Back from Ski Plays, man. We're at the apartment right now, but man, all the grind and hard work we've been putting into this, man, we are gonna be getting a house today. Well, not a house, but a, an apartment that's a little bit nicer than this, let me say. Um, I'm waiting for my boy Phil. You guys remember Phil? I'm waiting for him to come pick me up. Should be calling me in a few minutes. Uh, he should be on his way. He's just up at the farm right now, but he's gonna come down and we're gonna meet with this uh, realtor lady named Susie and uh, hopefully by the end of the episode today, we're gonna be all set with a uh, brand new house. We could get out of this dump, man. As you guys can see, man. Oh, dude. Inventory is almost full here and I need, man, this place is way too small for me. It was good for the time being, but yeah, it's time to get out of this uh, hotel, but I hope you guys do enjoy this video and well, let's get right to it. All right, so I just met up with Philip and the realtor. Um, I'm gonna go show them the place that I wanna get. They just got done looking at the place he's gonna get. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna show them which one I wanna get. <laughs> I didn't have them in my eyes. I absolutely heard her scream. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just the one up there. It's just this one up here. I like the last one here. I've unlocked her door. Go ahead and see if you can't get into it, please. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, it's the kind of same, similar layout as the other ones. I, I do like... Is it okay if I say I like this one this a little bit more because of the location? Or... Yeah, no, absolutely. So this one is uh, a little bit more expensive. This one, so the other one was 24000 for a down deposit. This one is going to be 252 so It's only 1002 more. And again, that's subject to change based off the maze loan bank. Uh, yeah, yeah. Will it go up? You think, or like, or is... um, no, it, it should actually, depending on the the percentage we're able to get you down at with through the maze bank, it should drop you down actually. Okay, yeah, that's no problem. I just forgot my paycheck up at the Happy Farms, so I think he said he'll help me out. Okay, um, let me get your contact info so that way I can get you an appointment with Charles. Let me see here. I uh, just tell me when you're ready. I could airdrop it. Go ahead and send it, please. All right. Did you get that? Mm hmm. I did, Mr. Eddie Grimes. Uh, can I go ahead and send you mine? Oh uh, yes, I'm ready. All right. There you go. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I like this one a little more too because it has roof access has roof access yeah that's nice to see like the sunset all right give me just one second here i want to update this to make sure i have the right info so 
you, Mr. Eddie Grimes, want to take a look at Invention Court 324, Apartment 4. All right, let me get this locked back up. Yeah, thank you so much for your help. Let me... Let me see. I'm going to, uh, you are, are you riding with him or are you going to park your bike up? Um, cause uh, are you guys free now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can get a hold of Charles and just take us over to, uh, his apartment to get his sold first. Cause he's going to have to sell his, are you all packed out of your place? Yes. I never, you are. You can take your, like your storage unit and everything that's <laughs> in it. So I had to buy a whole new car. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, let me see if I can't get a hold of Charles. Will you send me a ping to the place that we need to sell right now, so that way I can yes. get him updated? I can do. Yep. Okay. Um, would you let me drive over? I think I remember the address. As well. Yes. If you if you want to just do that, and then I'll follow you, and then from there, we'll wait for him to fly in and uh, meet us there, get that sold, and then we'll probably all head over to Maze Bank. Perfect. Okay, um, I'm gonna swing by the office to see if he's there, and if not, then I'll swing right over to you once I get your thing. Okay, no worries. See All right, soon. thanks, gentlemen. Hey, I'll Phil, can soon. I drive with you? Yeah. Can I just drop the bike over at the parking garage right up there? Yep. Okay, so we are at May's Bank right now. Philip just sold his house, but we're going to get our loans approved for our houses. Ooh. Gonna assist with the uh, park job. Yeah, I can do it. Maybe. Hello, you beautiful people. Oh. Right up behind hello. you guys. Hello, hello, Hi. y'all beautiful. I love you all. Y'all amazing. Pardon me. Oh, we're going up in the maze bank. Let's go up to maze bank. Not this. God, this is. This is. Sorry, I'm here. All right, let's get out of this. God. All right, right this way. Dark Oak, I'm guessing. Let's go Dark Oak office. This is fancy. We should have wore some suits or something, some shirts and ties. Please. Right, I'm in my mechanic me? outfit, so you guys are fine. <laughs> That's. Didn't mean on the floor, friend. Legs but wide, but it's okay. Oh man, it's just a bit too much, though. Inconveniently wide. How high we are. The view is pretty amazing to be fair. That's a telescope, damn. Alright, so because we're going for a maze bank loan today, I do have to just go through some information with you, it's just obviously you're familiar with them. So the maze bank is regulated by the Federal Reserve System, and as a result, we've got to comply with the various CFRs, which are code of federal regulations. <laughs> Additionally, Maze Bank is a business and making a profit is key to any business's success. So we take special care when evaluating a client's request for finance, and if we're able to make an offer. The finance agreement must meet multiple requirements, which we call the five C's with sufficient evidence for each. So going top to bottom, those five C's are capacity, collateral, condition, capital, and character. We'll start off with the ones that will apply to both of you at the same time, which is collateral. Now, this is just talking about what happens if you were to default on a loan. Now, due to the fact that it's a secured loan, it means that the assets themselves, so both of the properties you're purchasing today, will be tied to the loans. With them being tied to the loans, it means if you have the default, which happens if you'll have three late payments in a row, whether that be you know free weekly payments or free monthly payments, we will seize the asset back at a rate of 75% of state cost. And that will go towards any outstanding debt that you will have remaining. If the debt is paid off in full and there's any excess from like, you know, say it, you know, it's worth more than what the debt is, you will not get any of the excess back due to the fact you forfeited and defaulted. 
if we seize the property back and there's still outstanding debt after that, because obviously the debt's larger than the 75%, the remaining balance will get sent across to your government's app listed under defaulted debt. While you have defaulted debt, you cannot take out another loan through Maze or Fleeker. And vice versa, we have slightly different regulations regarding giving out loans to people that have defaulted loans. But in terms of Fleeker's terms, they will not give you a loan if you've defaulted on a loan for 30 days after you have defaulted on it. After those 30 days are finished, you'll have a further 30 days where you can get a loan from them again, but it'll come at an additional 15% interest rate on top of the already 15% that's in place with an extra 5% for every loan you still have after you've defaulted. That's everything to do with collateral. Quickly going back to what I mentioned, the late payments. If you do happen to be late on one of your payments, it does incur a 50% fee of whatever the payment period amount was at the time. So for example, if you're paying $10,000 a week or $40,000 a month, obviously with four weeks in a month, if you're late on that weekly payment, you're going to be looking at a $5,000 fee. If you're late on the monthly one, you're going to be looking at a $20,000 fee. So keep that in mind when it comes to paying off your loans. At this point now, we're going to go through the other four. Now, these are going to be specific to yourselves. So we'll start off with the gentleman on the left, obviously, in the white pants. We'll just quickly go through all your information, and then we'll move on to the gentleman in the red, and I'll get both your loans issued at the same time. So we're going to be going through capacity now. So this is regarding your ability to pay, including your payment source and amount of income relative to debt. So at this time, I'll need your social security number if you memorized it as well as a form of identification if you have it on you okay uh the social is one two three four i never knew that very lucky number yes i never knew a driver's license uh, any kind of identification whether it be a driving license identification firearm license etc and you need it uh, if you could just flash it for me yeah just so i can see if you have it on you Okay, good. You see it? Amazing. Thank you. All right. So going top to bottom then through your financial records. So just quickly let you both know as well, when we do go through these records, it's obviously going to get disclosed within these four walls. However, this will be the only place that we will disclose this without your prior consent. Okay. So going top to bottom, we've got available funds currently sitting at $26,102. In regards to your cash deposits and withdrawals, deposit is sitting at 84158 in the last 30 days. And withdrawal sitting at 4,600. In regards to transfers, you've got 2,000 influx and 1,750 going out. You have two outstanding loans currently totaling a debt of 52,640. We have monthly payments of 9,240 and weekly payments of 432. With all of that taken into consideration, it means we're looking at an approximate outgoing of $10,000 in debts or liabilities. And your influx is currently sitting at approximately 80,000, which means that when we look in the grand scheme of things and obviously what you've got as your affordability, we're looking at about 70,000 spendable per month. Okay. Damn, son. Is that going good? I don't know. Part of capacity, we just need to go over your payment source. So if you were to explain to us today what your main source of income is, how would you go about explaining that? Um. So I got two. I um. One, I have a day job down at the uh, the water department, and then um, I go up in the Happy Farms, and I, I pick the apples, kind of side income. But I I um yeah, it's good money. Okay, I'll go back to Mr. Grimes to answer this question next first, but we're just going to go over condition next. So this is regarding your circumstances. So as an example. If an interest owner is asking for a loan, the bank may be interested in how many chairs and sofas the store is expected to sell in the area over the next five years. Uh, just confirm, what did you say your main source of income was again? You said it was, was it also Warren Power? Uh, me, Eddie. Uh, yes, yeah. it, yes. And I, I okay. kind of split it with the Happy Farms. Okay, so we're going to mark condition off as successful for both of you then, due to the fact that it's government funded work. In this case, obviously, there's no kind of um, stock that you have to follow. You can just continuously be able to work for it, and there's no kind of, you know, affordability. It's not like real estate where we're limited on how many we can do, and obviously the affordability of citizens. It's constant work. You can do whatever you need to. So we'll mark condition up for both of you for that. Next one is capital. So this is regarding your assets minus liabilities. 
which represent your capital. If liabilities outweigh assets, the borrower might have difficulty pay, repaying a loan if the regular source of income unexpectedly decreases. So starting with you, Mr. Grimes, obviously we've mentioned that your current assets are sitting at 26,102, but you've got zero completed loans. Do you have anything that has already been paid off in full, whether it be a vehicle uh, or other kind of assets you may be able to tie to this? Uh, no, but I was planning to uh, pay a lot of my bike off, but uh, okay. no. So as of right now, you've got a current asset of $26,102 in available funds. That's your cash asset. And you've currently got a liability of 52640 which is your outstanding debt, meaning that as of right now, you are sitting in a negative capital. And as such, if your regular source of income, this being Water and Power and Happy Go Farms, were to unexpectedly decrease in pay, do you have an alternate source of income you could rely on in order to continue repaying off the loan? Or would it just be a case of having to work longer hours instead? Um, I, I also uh, did the, I went up to the Polito Farms too for a little while and I, I worked up there for a little while. They're pretty uh, good at giving me hours. To, uh, I would work overtime if I absolutely had to. I promise with that. Okay. All right. So looking through them, we obviously, Mr. Grimes, you've got zero late payments currently. Mr. McHugh, you've only got the four, which you've obviously already explained. At this moment in time, we would like to offer you both the loans that you've requested. Just to confirm, obviously, the finer details of both of them. Mr. Grimes, you're requesting an invention court unit 324, section 4. And Mr. McHugh requesting an invention court unit 600, section 3. Is that correct for both of you? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, I didn't remember the you name. The but ones that Mr. Pierce went over with you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. Yeah, me and her went over kind of. Two. I I think is I think so. Yeah, so the one I've got here has a original market value of 157,500. Uh, yes, and like, yes, and it would be like 31,000 on a down or something. So, yeah, I yep. think. Sorry to come. All right, so we'll get the final details in regards to all the numbers in a second, but for both of you, are you more of a monthly kind of guys or weeklies? I'm a weekly, personally. Weekly, okay. Yeah, I was wondering if I could do weekly for this one. Yeah, we can both set your whole weekly. So give me two seconds, then I'll find out what your minimum payments are going to be for both of them, as well as obviously the final details. Yeah, but I just don't trust having, like, say, like, probably 25 grand in my account at once and keeping it there i'd rather just keep paying weekly so i can kind of focus on it yeah sure reach for all this information for me and if it's all good just sign at the bottom put that down there and then mr mcq i've got yours here as well hey hey susie mm -hmm. i just want to make sure because we talked about the two places this was the right one Right. So the one that wasn't going to let us in was the Invention Court Unit 602. That one is not the one that we are buying. We are buying for you, Eddie. We're doing the Invention Court uh, Unit 324-4. Okay, thank you. I just want to make sure, shall we? No, you're good, sweetheart. As, if it ends up being um, wrong, she works at Hayes. You can kidnap her easily from there. Uh, oh, yeah, if you I was already kidnapped once forms. this morning. Can we not talk about being kidnapped? <sighs> What was that? All right. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and get both of these issued. I just need both of you to send across those deposits. So it's going to be for you, Mr. Grimes. It'll be 25,200 to account 101. And then Mr. McHugh, it'll be 24,000 to account 101. I'll go ahead and get you your reimbursement back now regarding the earlier transaction. So if you could just give me your account number. Um, whose account number? Yours for the um, rebate for the house. One six eight three. All right, and that'll be half of it back. So it'll be the four thousand five hundred dollars back. Thank you. Uh, account one oh one. Correct. Yes. There we go. Is it for both of us one oh one? It is. Yeah. Yes, that's the maze bank account for the deposits. And you, you said twenty five thousand hundred. 
Uh, for you, it is 25,200, correct? And uh, Mr. McHugh, it's 24,000. Okay, did you get that? I sent mine. Let me have a look here for both of them. Uh, as soon as it wants to load, I can see both of them there. There we go. Yeah, boy. We... Okay, fruit. Yeah. That's both your copies. Keep hold of them. It's your physical ones. If you need an electronic one, let us know and we can get one issued to you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Anything else you can help you with today? Oh. Damn. All right. Then we can head out and make sure, hopefully, local volley didn't come and grab your car. I've got a question on, like, car ones. Is it a similar process? It is pretty much the same process, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, be, I can't issue them. Out. I'm just a property specialist from Maze Bank. You want to get in touch with either Dan Elliott or Christine Belmont, and they can issue them. Or, alternatively, get in touch with Choi Lu. Uh, she usually has an adult on the yellow pages, and she can send an email across to them. And either one, they'll wake up and give you a call, or two, they'll stay asleep and call you as soon as they're available. Fantastic. Thank you. I will well, do they're that. They're usually available a lot. Thank you. All right. That's, yeah, really fingers cool. crossed the car wasn't local. Coding, I've had pretty good luck lately with my car not being local code. It's been pretty good today. Uh, usually they like to come and snag them up as soon as they can. But Thank you, Susie. Could, Thank you. you mate. Thank you. Pretty good with them. Oh, no. You guys are absolutely more than welcome. I'm coming out with you. Just... <laughs> she just wanted to sit in the chair and see how the secretary chair feels. Hey, you run away before she can finish the sentence. <laughs> And yeah, local valet didn't come and grab it. It's working really well today. Yes. Yeah, you should. All right, well, it's been a pleasure, gents. Yeah, thank you. Uh, just grab the seat. I'll shoot you well. If you need to pick up anything else real estate related, you know, whether it's, you know, you're going to get rid of that property, upgrade, or you've got any issues or anything like that, just get in touch with me. I'm more than happy to talk. Oh, uh All right, guys, Philip dropped me off. I'm just organizing my stuff at the house. He did the same, and I'm just waiting for him to come pick me up. Hey, what's up, Phil, dude? Hello, hello. I can't remember what apartment you're in, so... Oh, uh, no, you're good, dude. I heard some shit going down. I I'll wait for you, but somebody was outside, dude. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Here, pop the trizzy, Doug. I got a lot of good shit. There you go. I'll, I'll just sit here, you know, just anyone comes along, I've got a cruel bar for them. So. Hell yeah, bro, because motherfuckers be sketchy around here, dude. Ah, uh, but we're living in the high life now. On the yep, that's, middle class. yep, that's why we gotta get out of this bitch, bro. Shit. Right, I gotta go get in a few more things. My lease doesn't end for like another week, so like I'm gonna keep that place for a while, I think. Yeah, you know, make it a, you can make it a hideout, you know. Make oh yeah, a, for a sure. Oh den. Alright, yep, yeah, that's us. Let's uh get on out of here before we get robbed. Yep, yep. Okay, so where are we going? To your new crib? Yeah, yeah, you remember where that is, right? Yep. It's left here. The uh, first apartment's up on that right. Alright, alright. Um, just put one here. I'm gonna go look at these bins. Alright, sounds good. Right? Alright. We're here at the new crib, guys. Wait until you see the inside. Philip's going to be a scavenger, you know him. He's always trying to find some shit, bro. Oh man, it's gonna be hell to organize though. That's a fact. I'll get you guys once uh, we get this shit all in the apartment and all sorted out. Come back out and get it.
All right, one more thing. Oh, did you get it all? Got it all, Phil? I got the circuit boards. Sweet. Well, that's it then. Nice, nice. I uh, need to decorate this place a bit. Hell yeah, bro. It's a little bare right now, but uh, here. I've got a business meeting later on, you know, a car loan. Oh yeah? When's that, bro? I messaged the person there and she said just come down whenever. Oh, nice, nice. So after this, here, stick your hand out, man. Alright, alright. Hey, go, Cheers. boss. Hey, this is the moving up in the world, man. Got new houses, yep. got new cribs, bro. We're gonna just the moving up, and I uh, appreciate you helping me, man. No worries. I'm probably gonna just uh organize a little bit. Probably uh, you uh take me back uh, so I could get my car. Can do you? Yeah. yeah, just I need to bring my car over here and shit. But I appreciate you helping me, Phil, man. We're moving up in this world, bro. I know. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh yeah, bro. All right. Um. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta piss. I'll be like a minute, and I'll meet you out in the car. All right. No oh shit! I think I locked the door though. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'll, I'll meet you out there. I gotta take. Take a whiz, you know what I'm saying? This nice crib here, man. Real fucking nice kind of apartment studio. Fucking hangout. I know that's supposed to be the bedroom over there, but I definitely want to make that just my little... My weed growing place, you know, my, my tables and stuff. My little personal room back there. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, man. I can't believe me and Phil, man, we got new houses. We really are moving up in the world. Man, we're gonna be big soon enough, man. We just gotta hit big on something, you know. We've been playing a few things. Let me just tell you, we might be doing like a jewelry store hit or something soon, boys. But with that all being said, I hope you guys did enjoy that episode. If you did, let me know with a like or a comment. I always appreciate you guys' uh, comments and everything. But you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.